Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel Hi Mathematics. Today we have a really interesting question from entrance examination. We have square root of 2 minus 1, we need to raise this expression, we need to raise this to the 10th power. And a lot of students might be saying, hey mister, square root of 2, we can easily find it, we can easily find this approximately value of square root of 2 minus 1, we can easily find it, and we can easily find this approximately value when we raise this to the 10th power. But what about algebraic the solution? How can we find our final answer to this question? Let's see how can we do this. First of all, let this um, square root of 2 minus 1, let's write it as x, okay? So right here, let's do this right now. So we have let square root of 2 minus 1, for example, this is our this is our x. Let's call this expression as x. And basically, we need to find x to the 10th power, okay? Basically, we need to find x, x to the 10th power. Really great. Right now, let's try to um, express right here our x. First of all, let's bring our Let's bring our 1 from our left side to right side. As a result, what do we have right here? We have x plus 1, yeah? x plus 1 equal to, equal to square root of 2. We bring this minus 1 from our left side to right side. Right now, let's raise both sides to the second power. Let's square both sides. We are going to raise both sides to the, to the second power. As a result, what do we have right here? We have x plus 1, x plus 1 to the second power equal to square root of 2, we raise this to the second power. When we raise this square root of 2 to the second power, we have only 2 on our on our right side, so we have only 2 on our right side. And on the on the left side, we have basic screw, screw formula. We have x square, x square, plus 2x, and plus, and plus 1. Okay? This is our expression on the left and on the right side. Now, right now, let's bring our, our 2 from our right side to left side. As a result, what do we have right here? We have x square, we have x square equal to, or not like equal, let's write plus 2x, and right here minus 2, we have minus 1, okay, minus 1 equal to 0. And right now, the final moment, we don't need to solve this question, we need to express our second power according to the first power, it helps us to reduce a power. So basically, from here, our x square equal to 1 minus 2x, okay? We bring this 2x and minus 1 to the right side. And this is extremely important expression for us. So x squared equal to 1 equal to 1 minus minus 2x. This is really important expression for us because if you look back, we need to find our x to the 10th power. So right now we're getting closer and closer to this x to the 10th power. First of all, let's find our x to the 4th power. So let's raise both sides to the 2nd power. Let's do the thing right now. Let's start, let's mark this as a first first step in our, in our solution. We need to raise both sides to the 2nd power. We have x squared, we raise this to the 2nd power equal to 1 minus 2x, we're going to raise this to the second power as well. well. Let's do this. We have x to the fourth power right here on the left side, equal to 1 minus 2 times 2x, and times we have 1, and plus we have 2x squared. Okay, this is our expression on the right side. Let's do this, let's simplify this a little bit. We have x to the fourth power equal to 1 minus 2 times 2, we have 4x, and plus 4x, 4x square. But we know that x square equal to 1 minus 2x. So extremely important thing. But uh, x square equal to 1 minus 2x, which helps us to reduce a power. So instead of this x square right here, we're going to plug in this 1 minus 1 minus 2x. Let's do this right now. So we have x to the fourth power equal to, we have 1 minus 4x, plus 4 times, instead of this x square, we're going to plug in this expression that we found before, 1 minus, 1 minus 2x. Let's simplify this a little bit, so we have x to the fourth power equal to 1 minus 4x, plus 4 and minus, minus 8x, which is equal to, what do we have right here, 1 plus 4, we have 5, and minus 4x minus 8x equal to minus 12 x. So x to the fourth power, let's write it right here, x to the fourth power equal to, equal to 5 minus 12 x. So 5 minus 12, 5 minus 12 x. So x to the fourth power equal to 5 
minus 12x. Really great. Right now, as you can see, we know about x squared equal to 1 minus 2x. We know about x to the fourth power, which is equal to 5 minus 12x. And right now, let's get in closer and closer to our x to the tenth power, because we need to find our x to the tenth power. Uh, let's raise both sides to the second power, then we will have x to the eighth power. Okay, let's do the thing right now. So our second step, we're going to raise both sides to the second power. So once more, we have x to the fourth power, we raise this to the second power, equal to 5 minus 12x, we raise to the second power. So we squared, we squared both sides. As a result, on the on the left side, what do we have right here? We have x to the eighth power, which is really great because we're getting closer and closer to our x to the tenth power, equal to, what do we have right here? We have 5 square minus 2 times 5 times 12x and plus 12x Square. This is our classic. This is our classic formula from school. This is our basic formula. So x to the eighth power equal to five square. We have twenty five minus two times five ten. We have looks like one hundred twenty x and plus one hundred twenty one hundred forty four x square. But x square. So but x square equal to 1 minus 2x, absolutely the same trick as we did it before. We have x squared equal to 1 minus 2x, and we're gonna plug in instead of this x squared, we're gonna plug in this 1 minus 2x, which helps us to reduce a power because just imagine we are working with x squared and when we are working with the first power, which it's just really easier for us to work with with the first power. Okay, so what do we have right here? x to the eighth power equal to 25 minus 120x plus 144 times x square x square equal to 1 minus 2x so we have 1 minus 2 1 minus 2x let's simplify this a little bit what do we have right now we have x to the eighth power equal to we have 25 minus 120x plus 144 144 and minus 288 288x really great right now let's simplify this we have right here a 144 plus 25, we have x to the 8th power, x to the 8th power equal to 168 minus 408x, okay, we have our x to the 8th power, really great, so these are x to the 8th power, and as I told before, what do we have right here, what do we know, we know x to the 8th power, we know x to the 4th power, and we know x to the second power, but right now, actually, we need to group it, these powers, we need to find our x to the tenth power, okay? Basically, we need to find our x to the tenth power, so we need to multiply this x to the eighth power, we need to multiply it by x to the second power, as a result, we have x to the tenth power, so let's do this final, final tricky move right now. Okay, so I just rewrite the, all this expression from the previous step, we, we call this expression as x of square root of 2 minus 1, this is our x, we need to find x to the tenth power, we know x square equal to 1 minus 2x, we know x to the 4th power equal to 5 minus 12x, we know x to the 8th power which is equal to 169 minus 408x, but in the in the beginning we need to find x to the 10th power, so how can we group this combination and we need to find our x to the 10th power, basically we can easily multiply it x square by x to the 8th power and as a result we have x to the power 10, so we, we really need this x square and we need this x to the 8th power. So let's do the thing right now, let's do this final final step right here. So x square times x to the 8th power. This is our final step, as a result we have x to the 10th power, exactly the expression that we really needed. So we just equal to, we have x square equal to 1 minus 2x, so 1 minus 2x, times x to the 8th power equal to 169 minus 408, 408ax. So let's do this. Let's multiply our both parentheses. But on the left side, we have expression that we that we really need. We have x to the power x to the power 10. Okay, x to the power 10, which is equal to. Let's multiply it. We have 169 minus 408x minus 338x and plus 816x square. So when we multiply it, we have this type of expression. Right now, let's simplify this a little bit. We have right here minus 408x minus 338x. We can easily, we can easily subtract this both expressions. So as a result, our x to the 10th power equal to, we have 169, 169 minus 746x 
yeah and plus 816x square but the same the same trick as we did before but x square equal to 1 minus 2x so instead of this x square right here we're gonna plug in this 1 minus 2x so x square equal to 1 minus 2x and we're gonna plug in the same the same expression so let's do this right now so x to the 10th power equal to 169 minus 746 x and plus 816 times this 1 minus 2x 1 minus 2x and let's do this right now we have x to the 10th power equal to 169 minus 746 x and plus 816 and minus 1632 x and let's do this right now let's add our constant right here and we have right here our uh, expression with with variables okay so let's do this right now as a result we have x to the 10th power equal to 169 plus 816 we have 985 and we have minus if you subtract this one we have minus 2378 we have we have x so really great these are x to the 10th power so exactly the expression that we really needed right now because this is, looks like our final answer we need to find our x to the 10th power but x equal to square root of 2 minus 1 so let's write our final answer but but x equal to square root of 2 minus 1 so let's plug in our expression that we need to find instead of this x as a result what do we have right here we have square root of 2 minus 1 to the power 10 exactly the expression that we need to find in the beginning equal to 985 minus 2378 times x equal to square root of 2 minus 1 so square root of 2 square root of 2 minus minus 1 and the final thing right here what do we have we have square root of 2 minus 1 to the power 10 equal to 985 minus 2378 times square root of 2 and plus 2378 let's add this one and and this one and we will have our final answer so we will have our square root of 2 minus 1 to the power to the power 10 equal to 3363 minus 2378 times square root square root of 2. This is our final answer to our question. But I was wondering about about a proof to this question. I was wondering about about uh, uh, how could we prove it how can we find it uh, for example this one on the left side how can we find it on our calculator and exactly the same thing we're gonna do on our right side because i, I was wondering uh, if this approach is uh, correct or not correct so let's check it right now let's prove it on my calculator previously okay so we have right here prove i find the value of this square root of 2 minus 1 to the 10th power and here is what my calculator give me so we have right here 0.000, .000 1486 so according to a calculator according to mass library our square root of 2 minus 1 to the 10th power equal to this expression which is equal to so right here we're gonna write this one as 3363 and i multiplied previously i multiplied this expression 2378 i multiplied by square root of 2 and my calculator give me 3362 nine 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 eight five and one one four and i was um, a little bit shocked because it looks like absolutely the same thing on the right side and on the left side on the left side i want to rewrite it we have 0 0.000 and on the right side if we subtract to it we have 0 0.000 1486 because um, for me it was like a little bit confusing because i have like a um, really complicated expression on the right side 3000 2000 square root of 2 and i was wondering about 
a correct, uh, which is a correct approach about this answer, because I was a little bit shocked about the complicated expression on the right side. But as you can see right here, when we multiply it, of course, you can easily check it if you don't trust me. You can easily check this uh, approach if you don't trust me, and you will have absolutely the same answer. You can easily read this one to the 10th power and check my expression. You will, you'll be a little bit shocked because this is a correct a correct approach. So let's write our final answer to this question. A great question, a great practice question for, for every student, I guess. So let's write our final answer. So our answer to this question, we have square root of 2 minus 1 to the 10th power equal to 3363 minus 2378 we have times square root of 2. For those who are interested in approximately answer, square root of 2 minus 1 to the power 10. I write it as approximately, but basically this is equal, but let's write it approximately answer. So we have 0 0.000 And you would say me, okay, mister, but uh, you check it uh, according to your calculator. But, but what about this one? How can you find this expression? This is not a calculator expression. Uh, this is expression when we find it algebraically. So this is like a, a proof. This is like a, for those who are interested in approximately answer. But basically the main solution is right here. The main solution is right here because this algebraic solution, we don't find it randomly, we don't find it by inspection, we don't find it chaotically. We just solve it according to algebraic expression and this is like a correct solution. This is a solution for those who are interested. This is not like a solution. This is like approximately answer. Yeah, we, we can easily check it. We can easily plug in in your math libraries. You can easily see this answer. But basically, a correct answer, if you have this type of question on your exam, a correct answer is 3,363 minus 2,378 times square root of 2. This is a correct answer on your, on your exam. This is for you just to check our left and our right side. This is for you... To check it okay so we hope you understand my explanation i hope you learned something new i hope this question like what, what was interesting for you i really appreciate it because this is like a great practice question for everyone uh, you can easily solve this question once more you can easily uh, check the solution once more because this is a great practice question for everyone it looks like a school question this is not that hard but a long question okay it's not that it's not a three or four minutes video it's like maybe 10 minutes i don't know uh, uh, about the length of this video but as you can see a lot and a lot of really interesting tricks a lot of really interesting tricky moves so i hope you understand it i hope you will enjoy it so thank you everyone for your support thank you everyone for your respond if you respond down to the comment section i really appreciate it to see your respond and thank you for your time thank you for your for your kind comments for your like for your dislike i really appreciate it if you if you mm, like my content i really appreciate it i try to make a video every day but if you're interested in uh, right now if you're interested in in math you can easily check my youtube channel i have like more than 200 videos more like 200 uh, olympiad question uh, Android examination question school question maybe like geometry question higher mathematics question so a lot of really interesting things so i hope i really appreciate it when you when you leave a, a kind comment when you enjoy my content it's really important and it's really kind for you so thank you everyone for your support wish you all the best in your life take care of yourself and love math